Hello everyone, I'm Catherine Decina Sapelin and today we're tasting Belgium by trying this dark almond raspberry chocolate block thing. <sighs> guys, I am so excited about this. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Okay, I saw this back in December and I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. I mean, it's a box of chocolate and it comes with a mallet. What more do you need? Like, awesome guys, it's a mallet. But then I saw the price and I was like, holy crap, I don't want it that bad. And so I thought to myself that I would wait till it went on sale and then I would get one. Except then when I went to look for them, they weren't there and I just sort of assumed that everybody bought them. And then I found one in the shopping cart sale of death, which is this place in Deleuze where all the things that are on sale that nobody has taken ends up in this cart. And I found one. Yay! Little disclaimer. Even at 30%, this is still ridiculously expensive. But hey, I got a mallet, and a box, and a ribbon. So I'd say it was worth it. Okay, so via the ingredients of this, which is here, this should be top quality Belgian chocolate because it's made of the cocoa powder, the cocoa butter, the cocoa solids, and then it has some almonds in there some dried raspberries in there. It smells delicious. And so we're just gonna try some. And as you can see, it's a very thick piece of yummy dark chocolate. Um, this piece doesn't have a raspberry on it though, so we'll try this one and then come back. Smaklik. Here's a tiny little piece that has a raspberry bit on it. I'm not sure that you'll be able to see that at all. We'll have to see <laughs> later in editing. Smock like. Okay, so the raspberry bit tastes like the raspberries that you would find in any cereal that has raspberries in it. Those dried raspberries, so they're sort of sour. Nothing too extraordinary about them. I think I need to try a little bit more before I can effectively describe the taste, so... The chocolate is really hard because I had it in the fridge so that I can more effectively beat the crap out of it. Worth it. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Honestly, guys, you don't know what good chocolate is until you come to Belgium and experience what real chocolate is supposed to taste like when they actually use chocolate ingredients and not just BS to make a cheap product. As you can see, this is the little part that I ate and I'm actually satisfied with the chocolate that I ate because it's just, it's that rich and filling and so delicious. and. Guys, the almonds in these, I think they candied them because there's like an extra sweet crunch that comes with the chocolate. And the chocolate is so nice and bitter and oh, this is so good. Not good enough to pay full price because I'm cheap, but good enough to definitely buy when it's at 30% off. Random side note with this is that I think this is supposed to be a product for Christmas or New Year's in Belgium. And I've not seen anything like this before. And so if you're from Belgium, is this like a typical thing that you do or is this like just a touristy gimmicky thing that I sort of fell into? Because if it is, like I think that would be an interesting story. But if you're thinking that I made this video back in January and I've just been sitting on it for you guys, um, you're wrong. It's actually, it's February and considering this was supposed to have expired in January. It's still really good, but in fairness, I don't think that chocolate can go bad. I don't know. Thoughts, comments, opinions, leave them below. The only downside to this is that when you're smacking the crap out of it, 
like the little almond bits did sort of fly everywhere and it made a mess. And me being lazy, I just sort of threw the mess outside instead of like collecting the little bits. So if you'd like to try this, all you need to do is come to Belgium around New Year's and I'm sure that Deleuze will have it back in stock again. Or you can check out the description and click my Amazon affiliate link, which through no extra cost to you, if you buy something from there, I can get a commission and I'll leave a surprise product that I'm sure will be chocolate related in some way, shape, or form. Yummy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet. Hit the red button to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and sometimes YouTube even tells you when my videos come out. If not, come back Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because that's when I release new videos. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. I dare you to stalk me. I am on Twitter, Facebook, and I keep a blog where I continue the conversation, so be sure to check that all out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, may apple scenes. Once a month, there's this language evening in the library at Ypres, and I love it because I get to talk to a bunch of interesting people in so many different languages. But the best part of the evening is when I leave and get to go to the reject book section of the library where they give away free books that nobody wants. And so once a month I get this massive book haul and I am so, so happy guys because I love free books. I'm so happy. Books are awesome. <laughs>